Hi guys, I'm Joe. I'm a part-time eBay reseller here in the UK. What that means is I go around charity shops, thrift stores, any second-hand shop, buy items for a low margin, sell them on for a high profit on eBay, of course. Uh, this is a, another week in sales video. I believe it's week eight or seven. I, I keep getting mixed up. I, I need to keep track on what I'm doing. Uh, if you see me looking there, there, I'm just trying to get used to looking at the camera. Uh, I'm obviously not that used to it yet. I should be. I've done like 10 videos now. Uh, but yeah, this is a week in sales video. Uh, just before I get into the clips and stuff, uh, I forgot to put one item in the actual video. I'll record it before I packaged it. So I'm just going to mention it now. It was a Bolly goggles, uh, like snowboarding skiing goggles. I'll pop the tag there uh, so you can see it. Sold it for £12 with postage and I think I paid £2 for it. Uh, so I just thought I'd get that out of the way uh, and yeah, start the sales right now. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, it is now Tuesday and I'm in a really happy mood. I'm not ill for once, so I'm very glad about that. Uh, we have sold this uh, other belt, uh, the J John Cena Jack Pacific. Well, it's not John Cena, but that's who I basically know it from. <laughs> it's a 2005 Jack Specific uh, Spinner Rooney belt. Spinner belt. I don't. I don't know. Uh, these ones usually are rarer, you know, because the 2005. Uh, but it's the one that John Cena was most known for wearing, uh, or at least you know, you know, the spin creating the spin or something. I don't know. It's something weird like that. Um, Paid a pound and I've just sold it for fourteen pound uh, plus postage, which isn't too bad. Uh, and it's going second class sign for, so not a bad sale for Tuesday. I think it's the only sale I've had this week, but uh, if we can get more sales like that, I'll be happy. Right, so it's now Thursday. Uh, we've sold three things. Uh, one's in the garage, so I'll have to put that at the end of this clip. Uh, so let's just get into the stuff that I've got in my hand. Uh, we've sold this medieval game uh, for £9 plus postage. It's one of my personal games from my collection. I uh, played this on the PS2, I believe. Uh, they remastered it. Uh, unfortunately, the controls are really clunky. Uh, I didn't realise they were that clunky, or at least I don't remember them being that clunky, even with the remaster, and I just don't really enjoy it, to be fair. Uh, but I got... Um, Nine pound plus postage. I think I only paid eight pound for it or something like that. Uh, it was a while ago, uh, so I got my money back basically. Well, I lost money, you know, if you take fees into account, but uh, I got some money back, so it's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, nine pound plus postage for that. And the other item that I've got in my hand is this Rochdale uh, training jumper. Um, it's actually a decent design to be fair. Uh, I only paid a pound for this. Uh, it was in the reused charity shop uh, near me. Uh, I got, uh, let me just double check, £7.99 £7 for it with £4 postage. Uh, it was on my page for a while to be honest, like three months or something like that. Uh, I had it up for £10 plus postage, uh, but I took an offer at £7.99. Uh, it does have a problem on the back with the stitching you probably won't see it because it's too dark uh, this lighting is always shoddy to show you things unfortunately plus when i bring it up to the camera it always goes out of focus no idea why it just happens but yeah paid a pound uh, from the reuse charity shop in can't say in because uh, it's very local but somewhere local to me i'll just say uh, and yeah Got £7.99, so it's not a bad flip. Alright, so we're in the garage. Why did I say it like I'm American? Uh, we're in the garage. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so we sold this uh, Ben 10 watch. Uh, it's going to the... Oh, it's going via the GSP. I don't know where it's going to yet. Uh, that's sort of a sneak peek of what's happening uh, this week. Or, I guess, what I'm doing this week. Or what I've grabbed this week. Uh, so I've sold this for £12.99 plus postage. Uh, because it's going GSP, I think he paid like £12 postage, so he's only paid me £4.20, but he's paid eBay, you know, an extra sum. Uh, I picked this up for a pound uh, with the other 
Ben 10 watched, which was the 2006 Bandai. I've already sold that for 34. Uh, that one went to the US of A. Uh, I don't know why it said it like that. I think this is going to Germany. I'll have to door check. But I'm noticing that with the Ben 10 stuff, every time I sell it, it's usually always going uh, via the GSP to abroad, to like America or Netherlands or Germany or something like that. So keep an eye out for your Ben 10 stuff. Uh, you can usually pick them up for cheap and sell them on for high profit. So yeah, very easy to flip, uh, very easy to package and keep an eye out for them. All right, so it's now Friday uh, and we've just sold the Clark's uh, King Easy, King Ease uh, slippers that I bought for £4. Uh, sold them for £12 plus postage. Uh, you know, them brown ones. I don't know if the lighting's going to catch it, uh, let me take them out, it'll probably be easier. I'll take one out so you can see. So yeah, they're like brown slippers, uh, they were practically in new condition, like never worn. Uh, they've probably been worn like once or something and donated. Um, so yeah, bought them for four, sold them for 12. Not an amazing sale, but it's a nice easy flip. Uh, they're only on the store for like two weeks, so can't complain really when it's only that long. Uh, so yeah, paid £4 for these, easy flip with 12 plus postage. Right, so it's now, God I forgot my days, it's Sunday, uh, well, it's technically, it's Monday, but I'm saying this is Sunday because these items sold on Sunday, uh, but like late Sunday night, so it's Monday, but these items sold on Sunday, so yeah, let's just say that. <laughs> Alright, so the first item on Sunday that I sold is this Mountain Hardware uh, coat fleece thing. It's more like a fleece. Um, it is the Nano Spore, I believe, or something like that. Uh, picked this up for £4 and I've just sold it for £25 plus postage. Uh, there is actually a problem with this one um, on the left shoulder. Uh, it has like a small hole at the back. Uh, I've, I've listed that uh, in the listing. Or should I say, I've put that in the listing. Uh, and I still got £25 for it. Uh, I put it on an auction because of that for like £15 bid. And I had a few watches and it went up to £25. Uh, so I'm happy with that sale, four into £25. Uh, if it didn't have the, what you call it, the hole in the left shoulder, I could probably get £40 or something like that. Uh, especially with the Nano Spore one. I think it's that, it might be Nano Sphere or I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, I was more than confident if that was not like, you know, if I didn't have the problem in the shoulder, uh, I'd probably get 40 quid. But I'm glad that I got 25, so I'm happy with that sale. Um, up up there. And the second sale on Sunday, or Sunday night, is Monday again, uh, was this Manchester United. Um, 2004-2006 home shirt, uh, it did have some pulls in it and um, some of the stitching was coming off but I mentioned that in the listing as well uh, so yeah these two actually have problems but you can still sell them for a lot which is nice uh, picked, this, picked this up for £3 and I've sold it for £25 plus postage as well which is nice um, I think it's going to a guy who collects uh, vintage uh, Tops and stuff, I looked at his feedback and it's all like sellers that sell uh, United tops, uh, football tops, stuff like that. So he's probably going to try and like fix the pulls and stuff like that and try and like restore it. And yeah, I hope he enjoys it. Uh, very nice sale as well. Uh, this one actually was uh, listed when I had a, an offer from eBay with like 70% off fees or something like that. So yeah, it's not a bad sale. So I'm very happy with that. And that's it for the sales of this week. Um, I'll probably just do the outro now, so it's a lot easier, you know, in one take. Uh, yeah, I need to remember what I did. Uh, just checking over there. It looks like we did £133 uh, this week, which isn't too bad. Obviously, that's not including fees and postage and stuff like that. But not too bad for a week. Um, a slow week really in, like, in terms of like quantity of sales uh, but I had a lot of quality so that's not bad and yeah I'm very happy with that week uh, if I can keep getting that week or then sort of weeks where it's like 150, 30 and stuff like that I'm not too bothered I am part time nowadays so um, I can get those weeks like that it adds up 
and it's a nice chunk of change. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. See ya.